out to an episode of Austria, what we are colonizing like a colonizer, because that's what we do as a state of power, is we colonize. And we also have a good friend's America on our sides. Yeah! I need that, I need that, like, good American music right now. Some Somebody, somebody think of some good American music right now, because that'd be really good. So yeah, anyways, we basically have America on our side, because we needed some great power alliance, so that... Um, if we ever wanted to declare war and go start some great gigantic war so we can start like, you know, individually start sphering all these other, you know, ripping apart these other nations, we can. That's all I want to do. Plus, when we do a great war, we can also have a possibility of winning the colonies, which is what I kind of want. So, I want to make sure that I'm basically next to almost everyone's colony. And I'm making sure my ally has no colonies at all because that'd be really nice. Alright, colonial power there. Analytical philosophy next, and could I start the Debarian Federation right now? I could. Do I think it's a good idea right now? No. And who's leading the war right now? I don't even know. I'm just kind of fighting wars. I'm just kind of like, yeah, just go. Go, 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 go. Secularize. Okay. And so, right now, no, 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 no. The Royal War. Congo is leading this war. Um, in this war. A royal is the second partner. Okay, so yeah, it'd be better. It'd be better if I kill off. Okay, yes, and these guys finally got here, which is good. And for some reason, I can't upgrade any of these forts, but I can upgrade some of these forts. Yay! More upgrading. Okay, you guys go right here for a quick second, and then I'm gonna go send you guys to uh, our good friends, the the uh, Congoians. And then from there, you guys are gonna go do your own war. You guys go right there. Yeah, just go, just go crush the Congo's forces. And do, 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 do. okay, there we go. Get on the boat. Okay, go right here. And yeah, we're gonna have a tiny, we're gonna have a very tiny colony over there, right next to the big gigantic glue blob known as the French. But I wasn't really expecting a big gigantic colony. I was expecting a medium-sized colony, which is what I'm kind of getting. Zanzibar is now an independent nation, which also means they are easily deceptible to conquest, I'm guessing. Let's see, how much of a truce do I have with them until 1884? That's not good exactly to me. Okay. And this fear by the British, that stinks. Okay, you guys, get out, go right here. This is going to be our tiny little colony. Like, when I mean tiny people, we're going to have two provinces in this place, but that's fine with me. Because we don't need that much land. Because we're going to be conquering a lot over here. Like, there's going to be a lot of land we're going to be getting over here. So, we don't really need that much. Alright? Alright. So, let's see. We have some... So we have even some soldiers right over there. But I think they realize just how pointless it is to fight me. I'm not even... To be honest, I'm not even sending in my full force. I'm just kind of sending in some forces. What do you guys... No. No, don't do that. Okay. And apparently the conservatives get victory! Yay! Alright, there's apparently that crisis is getting really heated. Let's see. So, basically, Germany, Italy are going to be at war with each other. That's good-ish, I guess. I mean, it's mostly going to be the Germans fighting the war, and... Um... Hmm. This could be actually a good possibility for me to go declare war on them for... No apparent reason besides I want to go declare war on them. So let's go send our troops over there to Congo land. You guys are going to probably die. You guys, I'm going to peace you guys out. And if this actually does just end my war, that's fine me. Alright, peace it out. There we go. Yeah, it seems like it just pieced me out of the, of the entire war, which is fine by... Oh, it conquered all of it. Good. Okay, and I got... I have this state already surrounded, so basically... Britain won't be able to do anything. They can't get this place over here, which is good. So we basically we basically blocked Britain. They cannot expand over here at all, which we could actually block them a little bit more just to make sure that we gain this. And I have to make sure that I connect these lands down here. So let's make sure we get a little bit of trans uh stuff going on over there. Um, I can't really conquer these guys yet, so... Let's, I, think, I think that's enough of the spreading out I can do. So, let's just stop right there. And, let's see. We're going to be conquering... We're going to be conquering the uh, Mighty Santo next. Who the Santo are a good friend of mine. 
And by good friend, I mean they are easily defendable. And you know what? Let's call in all of our allies. Why not? Let's make let's make all of our allies just fight through this war. I mean, it's not really too important that our allies join in. Oh, the treacherous, treacherous, treacherous. Wow, a lot. Wow! Who joined in? Mostly just African nations. And you guys are telling me you guys don't want to fight that. What, are we are we living in a bunch of pansies right now? Seriously? Okay, America. Seriously? I mean, wow. I, I Wow. That was like... Everyone's like, I don't want to fight this. Whew. Dang, all you guys are harsh. Like, seriously. This is not even going to be that hard of a war. I would have understood if this was actually going to be a war of, you know, real importance. But this is just going to be a war. I'm just fighting because I'm fighting. I mean, look at this. I'm just... Dang. Okay, well, I'm definitely not inviting you guys to any of my war parties. Hmm. Alright. Let's get all this upgraded, though. Okay. Get you guys on here. Get you guys on the boats. We're going to send you... Yeah. Bulgaria, you want an alliance back. And I will accept it just because I created you guys just for the sake of being an alliance. I am so mad at you guys right now. Like, you guys don't even know. Oh, Greece, you want your alliance back? Sure, I'll get your alliance back because I like you. B Bavaria, Baden, I like all of you guys. I don't know why you said no. Like, I'm very confused about that. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, I wasn't really, like, it w wasn't insanely important that you guys joined in. But I'm, I'm really surprised you guys said no. And then America's also going to get my alliance back. Good. Thank you, America. Don't know why you guys said no, but thanks, I guess. Uh, Spain, you guys also want an alliance. Good. So now we got Spain on our side, so that means we can stop upgrading. Now we can start investing more points into our prize land of Bavaria. I mean, of Bavaria, the Emperor of Brazil. So we can get them back into our sphere because for some reason they got out of our sphere because of some Netherlands manipulation, which is not cool at all. Okay, we could start fighting them over there for that land. Do I want to do that? No, because I kind of want to move into all this other land first. And then start, like, you know, uh, I want to kind of link up my land, like, right about here. Before I start trying to, like, fight over there and do all this kind of crazy stuff right over here. Because I think France is going to try to link up right there, which is fine by me. I don't really care. But I'm going to try to link up my land over here and keep it kind of centralized over there. But first, we have to go defeat the Santo. Because the Santo are a threat to our sovereignty and our freedom as a nation. So they must be wiped out from the face of the map. Uh, scandals? <laughs> Alright. And... Man, our country's growing right now. It's also having insane amounts of economy bust. But that's only because I'm not giving our... I'm not really giving a break to our, like, invest... In... Yeah. Infrastructure. That's the word I was looking for. I'm not really giving a break to our banks or anything like that. And Oreo, oh, Oreo's back in, Oreo's back, back into war with us again. Huzzah, so we can't just go conquer these guys. Yes! Okay, so who else can we just go conquer in this war? We can also go, oh, my goodness, we can conquer everyone over here. Uh, Mosey, Delai, is anyone with Mosey? Mosey's not really a threat to us. Dendra, Dendra, I actually do think I want some land from them. Like, they're specifically... This little top part right over there, I specifically want from Dendrite. That way we can have a good colony right here in the center. But first we have to go conquer some things and we have to go re annex you guys. Yay, thank you, Oreo, for joining in. I, and I, I know I'm not saying that right, people, so don't, don't correct me in the comments. I know I'm not saying that right. Alright, and there we go. You guys go crush these, Santo, and then go right here. The Emperor Brazil is already happy to see me back inside power. See, you guys know you guys don't like the Netherlands. The Netherlands isn't really, isn't really your home nation. You guys should realize that we are really your buddies. Like, if there's anyone that's really your buddy in this world, Brazil, it's, it's, your, it's your good friends, the Austrians. Hey, hey, don't you dare conquer my land. Don't you dare conquer my land. I will go kill you before you do that. Okay. Oh, it seems like they're not going to retreat. Well... They're gonna die, because I did not retreat. And it's sad to say this, but you guys probably should have retreated. Apparently Britain wants access to our land, probably because they want to, like, uh, establish protectorates over all these nations. Uh, too, but too bad, this is all my nation, sorry. 
He's all my colonial nations. You know, I'm fighting them myself, so they're all mine. And I'm just destroying all of your guys' army up here. Uh, the, the eight stacks not really worth anything. Go directly to the capital of Santo. I'm also going to send some people over here to go conquer back this. And make this colony really nice. I'm going to make this colony look really, really extra nice. Like This is going to look like a good colony right here. Uh, conservatives. Uh, let's ag aggravate the liberals because the liberals don't take up about most of my voting. <laughs> like, seriously. I, I feel like my country is one of those places that's just like... So, we have liberals and we do have conservatives, but does anyone believe them? No. Alright, you guys. I'm going to add you guys to the war goal. Scramble for Africa. And then, once I have the opportunity, you guys are going to accept my annexation. And then I'm going to go over here to our good friends, the uh, Santo, and start whipping you guys a new one. Because that's what, just what we do as Austria. That's just what we do. Alright, you guys go right here. You guys, we have enough time pass. When can I do it again? Uh, no, mm, dang it. Gonna have to just just wait a little bit. Just wait. I have to be a little bit patient. You guys go up here. Go. Just stop blocking up the army making. Uh, bribing officials. You know what? Just bribe the officials. I don't really care that much. It's only two thousand bucks. Okay. So it's not like we're losing our entire empire. Okay. You guys, annex. Thank you. So now we got you guys underneath our control. Look at that. Look at that nice colony right there. And plus all these places I'm making. Oh, this is going to look so nice. Like, this is all going to look so nice once it's all done. Alright. Next thing though. Um, you guys, I'm going to add a sphere, sphere of Santo Canto. Does that, that include that? So there we go. Get those two regions. I think I could probably just annex the entire place if I just like slowly add on to more spheres. Now, you guys aren't going to get, as soon as I can, I'm just going to annex you guys, but first we have to, wait a second. Whew, okay. France is obviously expanding this way. Ethiopia has apparently formed! Oh, too bad you guys formed way too late in the game for, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, this could take a long time to conquer Ethiopia, especially since they have 2.2 million all right, ooh, ooh, I can finally create some colonies too, yay! Upgrade, yeah. Wait, I only have one piece of land? Oh, there we go, it just, it hasn't updated yet. Cameroon, create the protectorate, expand, expand. Okay, you guys get that. You guys, oh wait, we haven't got to there. Oh, the Sahara colony, yay! Huzzah! Oh, I haven't fixed the Cameroon colony yet. Huzzah, yay! Colony, out. Austrian, Hungarian, Africa, yay! This is just, everyone, I am glad to be a part of this magnificent event known as colonization. It brings my people great joy and great happiness to know that we are enslaving other people and using them for our own riches for the betterment of capitalism. It is, it, it is the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is there anything else I can rip out of you, Santo? Uh... Probably not, so if you're going to demand me both of these, yep. Because I can't, since I can't declare war and finish them off in this round. Yeah, because that's going to require one more war. I'm going to take all I can from them, which is a lot, actually. And we're just going to wait right here, go send our men back, and start upgrading all of our colonies. Roadworks, because I, I don't know why, I'm really, I'm really motivated in this campaign to just upgrade roadworks. And start making our fort level. Okay, we already have a navy being built. Or a naval port being built. That is good, guys. You guys are on the ball. Okay. And now... Well, we could go to war with Somali. And we could get Djibouti as a little... You know, let's get Djibouti as a little, like... Place of setting off. Because if we want to declare war on, like... Different places. And apparently there's some kind of war going on with... France. France is, oh, France is just fighting little people. I thought they were fighting real big people. So, but if we want, I think we should get Djibouti as a good place of just breaking off and that way we can also get to our colonies a little bit better. Also, upgrade. Just keep upgrading. You guys keep upgrading whatever you can. Alright, I don't care how you guys upgrade, just keep upgrading. Alright, and then... Yeah, it looks like we're all stable right now. I like this. Uh, oh, and then we also have to deal with this question right over here. 
we could probably rip a new one out of the Italians again. Um, I mean, most likely, most likely the Russians are going to keep the, uh, they're going to keep the uh, Germans busy. And what we just need to do is we're going to go rip a new one into the uh, Italians and finally gain back our last piece of land. You know, I like that idea. Let's go do that. <laughs> I, I was kind of, ah, dang it. I got the full amount of infamy. That's fine with me, though. Because I'm going to go gain back my iron ore and stuff of that nature. Because this was mine to begin with. And they know it. Those stupid Italians know that that was my land to begin with. They just, they stole it from me. Okay, let's get that land right there. Get that right there. And yes, we got a full name. That looks so cool. We got a full name right here on the coast of Africa. Which means we're always going to be remembered in the hearts of everyone. At least in the history books, we will always be remembered. In Africa yeah and somebody lift us oh yeah don't don't worry Germany we'll be at a war here soon and what I'm hoping that this is gonna turn into is it gonna turn into a, a great war where both mean America will join in and then from there you know Germany will join in and then plus these two great powers Germany right now fighting two wars will not be able to fight against me that well and so I can just kind of relax on that front Speaking of which, I should probably start building more men because they have about the same amount of army we do. Build five more regulars in Europe. And so, yes, and then we can also rip Germany even more because then infamy will be taken down by like six. And then plus then we can rip up their colonies and anything they try to gain for themselves. And I severely like that idea. <laughs> uh... It seems like it seems like Britain's also having fun over here. So is France. Look, they're just ripping apart all these little African nations. And yes, I could probably go and go take some over, but I'm not really particularly caring about those those African nations. I just want, firstly, what I want is like if I can just centralize like right about here in Africa, that'd be nice. Probably gonna have to declare war on Egypt at some point and and the Ottomans for different reasons. But that's going to be a little bit down the line. Yes, you guys are producing rubber so I don't have to do anything. And I just gained infamy for some reason. I didn't really read the event, so I don't know quite why. Uh, you guys go right here. Yeah, we're just going to casually build our soldiers up on the front. So that we make sure when we when we attack, we attack with such force that the, that the, Italian, that the Italians are going to be like, What? Where did this happen? I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute. They have only... Oh, gosh. You guys are going to get crushed, Italy. If you only have... If your only ally is Switzerland, that's... Oh, gosh. Well, it seems like we won't be able to turn this into a great war yet. But we're going to watch one of the best destructions of Italy. Since no one else is going to protect them, we're going to go destroy Italy now. Because you know what? I've, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. Oh, Italy. <laughs> oh, Italy. You guys don't know how much I've been waiting for this. So, let's see. Make sure we have all of our alliances. Satellite. You guys are supposed to be allied with me. So, be allied with me. Alright. You guys are allied. You guys are allied. Yes. Have all you guys allied with me. My Eastern Bloc is all allied with me, which is good. Then, I need to make sure all you guys are allied with me. Okay. Now, I need to make sure Spain's allied with me. Now, I need to make sure America's allied with me. Now I make sure Portugal's allied with me. Good. Okay. So everyone's allied with me. This is going to be a great war. Well, not a great war, but a great war. <laughs> oh, I love puns. All right. So we want Lombardy, right? Uh, Lombardia. All right. So Italy, declare war. I want my quiet state of Lombardia. This was mine. You guys know it. So don't you dare act like you didn't. No, this was coming. All right, everyone better join in. That's all I'm going to say. Join! Yay! Everyone's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> even America. Even America's like, yeah, let's go beat up on Italy. Because no one likes the Italians, I guess. All right, you guys go. You guys go. You guys go. Uh, and since they don't have any kind of allies, I really have to be worried about. This is going to be easy. I should have the militaristic advantage here. So this is, this is going to be a slaughter. Uh, my allies should be able to deal with Switzerland. Switzerland, who are supposed to be this neutral nation in this game. I call BS on that. But apparently no one listens to my BS. And that kind of annoys me at some point. 
All right. And let's see. Let's finally end with cheap steel. And I'll thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the war for our land. The final reconquest of our land is the true and mighty Austria. See you guys next time.